Hi, I'm Richard from Green Square. I'm here to talk to about air source heat pumps. This is a relatively small model. Uh, the way an air source heat pump works is using a refrigerant, much like you use in a fridge and air conditioning unit. A refrigerant is a gas when cold and when compressed turns into a hot liquid. So the way an air source heat pump works is we have a collector at the back and at the side. The fan at the front is pulling air over the back and the sides of the heat, heat pump. The refrigerant within the collector is much colder than the air temperature. It's a cold gas. So the air heats up that gas. We then compress that gas to make a hot liquid. Now we've got heat, we bring that into the home and that can run through your underfloor heating, radiators, and to heat your domestic hot water cylinder. Once we've used that heat in your house, obviously it comes back to that heat pump much cooler. We then unexpand that hot gas and it a hot liquid becomes a, a, a cold gas again and again we repeat the cold gas going through the collector we heat it up by the air we compress bring the heat into the house uncompress run it back over the collector so heat pumps come in different sizes you have single face models which suits all houses uh, some bigger properties and commercial have three phase so for every one kilowatt of energy you put into the heat pump, you get three to four kilowatts of energy of heat in your house. This, of course, largely depends on the external air temperature. The colder it is outside, the less efficient these run. The warmer it is, the higher efficient. There are two factors to getting the efficiency of a heat pump at its optimum. It is the outside temperature of which we have little control and it is the inside temperature of the water that we are running through your underfloor heating or your radiators. Now, if we go through radiators, generally they need a slightly higher heat. So you can find that you have to oversize radiators or you can use fan-assisted radiators if you want to keep the size down uh, to, and keep the temperatures down. So the efficiency is dependent on external air and the water that you're running through your radiators. Uh, they start uh, install, installation prices for a complete system, start around £10,000 for a small new build system, up to around £16,000-£17,000 for a large retrofit. That would include a new hot water cylinder, new controls, etc. That, in a nutshell, is an air source heat pump.